Welcome to The Contenders. I'm your host, Peg Young. Well, another week has gone by very quickly, and it's very hot outside still, but you can kind of catch the scent of fall in the air. Let's welcome today's contenders onto the stage. <laughs> our stage we have the FUMA team Bennett Finns and Eric Silver welcome I see your team names on your t-shirts tell us a bit about yourselves uh, well we come from Busan where we're the uh, current reigning champs of the Jagalchi fish uh, il, il relay festival mm -hmm. il relay race so uh, we're hoping to extend our, our success streak ah the winning streak hopefully it goes on here good luck to you FUMA team thank, thank you for joining you. us Now, going against our FUMA team, we have the princes, John Cho and Chihun Kim. Welcome, and tell us a bit about yourselves. All right, well, um, first of all, we're called the princes because we're not quite royalty, but we strive to be royalty. And um, also, people say we like kind of have prince disease, so, yeah. Ah, the Wang Jia or... Right, yeah. uh, okay, so the prince <coughs> disease kind of translates to, um, I don't know, what would you say? Confidence. Ah. Confidence, yeah. Perhaps overconfidence? Perhaps, yeah, but we'll see today. <laughs> we'll see how well you yeah. do. Good luck to all of you. Now let us begin the quiz. <laughs> Fuma, as you know, we'll give you 10 multiple choice questions. Uh, you get to use chance once. If you call out chance, we'll take away two of the incorrect choices and give you a better chance at the correct answer. Uh, if you get all 10 correct, you get 50 bonus points. Hopefully you'll do that today. Uh, you have a choice of Q, U, I, or Z set questions. Which will you have? Z. Z. All right, we'll go with question set Z, number one. Of the following, which month does not have at least 30 days? 1 January, 2 February, 3 November, 4 December. 2 February. <laughs> question number two. Of the following, which does rubber come from? One, animals, two, mines, three, trees, four, fossils. Three, trees. <laughs> we'll fight about it. Glad you conferred with your partner. <laughs> they like to. <laughs> and we go to question three. Of the following, which is the world's largest ocean? One, Pacific, two, Arctic, three, Atlantic, four, Indian. Uh, one, Pacific. And we go to question four. Of the following, which is the largest living bird? One stork, two flamingo, three ostrich, four eagle. Ostrich. Yeah, I think so. Three ostrich. <laughs> You're just buzzing by these. You haven't used chance yet, and we get to five. Of the following, who is not a Spanish painter? One, El Greco. Two, Clee. Three, Goya. Four, Velasquez. Let's go. Uh, Clee, two. Clee mm -hmm. is a Swiss painter. And so uh, you won the Tagalchi race. Does yes. that mean you raced eels? It's a relay race. So uh -huh. you have live eels, uh -huh. and you have to pass them to a team while they're trying to jump out of your hand. Ah, and you found that really exciting? Oh, um, it was better than the normal day. <laughs> <laughs> is this proving to be a better than a normal day for you? It's better than the eel relay race. <laughs> oh, great. So far. Ah, so far. <laughs> oh, it'll just get better from here. We get to question six. Of the following, what does the word rabbi mean in Hebrew? One, clever one. Two, saintly man. Three, my teacher. Four, soul leader. Three, oh. my teacher. <laughs> and we get to question seven. Of the following, which is the word that refers to relatives who are related through blood? One, a final. Two, consanguin consanguinous. Three, industrial. Four, fictive. Two, consanguinous. <laughs> and you haven't used chance, we are getting to question eight now. Of the following, what was the reason of the death of Alexander the Great? One, mosquito bite. 
two, old age, three, cut in battle, four, murder. If you're not sure, you can use chance. We'll do chance. All right, we'll take away two of the incorrect choices. And so, Fuma, please make your final selection. I'm going to say one. Let's get open. Yes. <laughs> that led to a, a malaria, and right. hence he died. And we are now at question nine. So how do you see your chances of getting the 50 bonus points? 50-50? Uh, <laughs> Hopefully your winning streak with the eels will continue here. <laughs> we'll get to question nine now. Of the following, Love is Blind is a line from which play? One, Merchant of Venice. Two, All's Well That Ends Well. Three, A Midsummer Night's Dream. And four, Romeo and Juliet. Three, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, actually, it is a Merchant of Venice in which it appeared. I think you were a little bit confused. You knew that one, didn't you? Uh, well, I mean, I, I majored in English, so <laughs> I'm kind of oh. embarrassed now. Oh, no, no. It was just a slip up on the stage, right? You're just not used to being under the lights. Exactly. Well, you end the section with 80 points. That's very good. Congratulations. Uh, and now, going against the FUMA team, we have the Princes. And Princes, you have a choice of Q, U, or I. Q. All right, we will go with question set Q, number one. Of the following, which is not indicated by the hands on a clock or watch? One day, two hour, three minute, four second. One day. Mm -hmm. Question two. Of the following, who is not a member of the Beatles? One, John Lennon. Two, Yoko Ono. Three, Paul, Paul McCartney. Four, Ringo Starr. Two, Yoko Ono. <laughs> ah, well, we get to question three. Of the following, what is the Milky Way? One, the Great Wall of China. Two, a starry night. Three, a walkway in Manhattan. And four, the galaxy we live in. Four, the galaxy we live in. We are at question four now. Of the following, who lives at number 10 Downing Street in London? One, Queen Elizabeth II. Two, Madonna. Three, Mick Jagger. And four, Tony Blair. Four, Tony Blair. And you haven't used chance yet. We get to question five. Of the following, which is a set of points that extends without end in opposite directions? One, gray. Two, intercept. Three, line. Four, fractal. Uh, four, fractal. Actually, it is the definition of a line. You end the section with 40 points. Fuma, you are in the lead with 80 points. Congratulations. Well, Princess, you'll have a lot of time ahead uh, to make up the points, don't worry. Now, in the second section, we'll be giving you 20 words in a given category, and 100 seconds are given to you to go through them. Uh, Fuma, if you're ready, please take your position next to me. <laughs> and now, uh, you chose European place names, yes. and I heard before that you've never been to Europe. Right, never been to Europe. But where would you like to go? Uh, Spain. Mm, really? France, England, all over, okay. everything. <laughs> and you're hoping perhaps you'll win seven in a row and we'll send you there? That's what I'm hoping, yes. All right, <laughs> well, good luck to you. Ready? Thank you. Yes. Go. Mountains. A. Um, Alps. Yeah. Where the Queen lives, England. Uh, Buckingham Palace. Street in, in uh, Champs-Élysées. School, England. O. Oh, Oxford. Treaty of Versailles. Church, also the humpback guy. Oh, um, and Notre Dame. Whew. All right, it's a gate. Starts with B. Uh, Brandenburg Gate. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah, I'm gonna skip this one. Yanni, live at the Acropolis. All right. Ah, where the Pope lives. Uh, the Vatican. 
War Crimes Court. Nuremberg. Oh, uh, Hague. Ooh, Volcano. V. Oh, um, Vesuvius. Large Island, uh, C. Not, 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 not the divided one. Oh, uh, cr um, Cyprus. Not the Crete. divided one. Crete. Uh, you know, the rocks in England, aliens. Uh, Stonehenge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, skip. Uh, capital Poland, W. Warsaw. Hmm, uh, starts with T? It's five letters? <laughs> skip it. Oh, yeah. Leaning Tower of Pisa. Oh, it sounds like the old mayor of uh, New York, Mario uh, uh, D. Uh, D. Ah, Same name, uh, D. Uh, D uh, Dinkin. No, skip. Ah. I think your partner was thinking of Cuomo, and hence oh. he was going for Duomo, the cathedral <laughs> in Florence. Uh, okay. You actually skipped the uh, palace in Spain, Alhambra, yeah. and Matterhorn was an, a, peaks, a peak in the Alps. You end the section with 230 points. Congratulations. <laughs> now, princes, if you're ready, please take your position next to me. And your, uh, your category was classic English literature. Mm -hmm. And do you have a favorite writer? Yeah, um, J.D. Salinger. Mm -hmm. He wrote Catcher in the Rye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great book because it's just, actually the story isn't much, but um, the, the writing style, it's, uh -huh. it's good. Yeah. Ah, well, are you ready? Yeah, ready. Go. OK, starts with V. 1800s in England. What's the era called? 1800s in England starts with V. 1800s? It's a name. Pass. Pass. Okay, two words. Starts with W. Starts with H. Second word. It's, this is low and this is high. But. Pass. Okay. Starts with D. D. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wrote a lot of um, a Christmas Carol. He wrote a Christmas Carol. The Kings. Okay, starts with H. It's a sh play by Shakespeare. Um, skull. To be or not to be. Hamlet. Okay. Seconds. Seconds, minutes. Seconds, minutes. <laughs> Seconds, minutes. It starts with H. Starts with H. Hour. Starts with T. First word T. Three letters. The. The. Pass. 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 Starts with T. Name. Four letters. Pass. Little people. Little people. Uh, goes to an island. Little people. Well, it proved to be a pretty tough category, actually. Yeah. Uh, Gulliver's Travels was what we're going for. In the I end, um, uh, The Hours is the movie. Yes. <laughs> and, um, well, you passed on Victorian Era. That was the era starting with V. Uh, and Wuthering Heights was the book that you passed. You end the section with 60 points. Good effort, though. And Fuma, you remain in the lead with 230 points. And this is the category that decides who will get to go on to the finals to go against our ballot team. Let's welcome Mr. David Huang onto the stage. Thanks for joining How us are you? Today. Yeah. Well, I'm doing great. How did you see the game? That. Yes, excuse me? How did you see the game? Oh, the what game was think? really good. In fact, actually, more than uh, the game, I was uh, paying attention to Fuma because uh, I was hoping the Puma sponsors aren't watching. <laughs> Maybe some kind of copyright infringement is going on over there. But uh, anyways, though. By the way, did anyone tell you you kind of look like Christian Slater? All the time. All, All the, the time, time right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, I'm not the only one. I'm glad. <laughs> 
Tom well, Cruise, Ben Affleck. Tom Cruise. Guys, yeah. really? I don't know about <laughs> Tom Cruise, <laughs> but maybe Christian Slade, maybe Ben Affleck too. Right. So we're, we have somebody who looks like the stars and the princes on our stage. Actually, you know the prince on the princes team. He kind of looks like this guy named Hans Hun. Do you know oh, who really? he is? Yeah, on the Korean actor. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. So Thanks. I don't want to add to your princes, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> man, you're just going to add to his princeliness. That's huh? what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Give us the rules for the section. Okay. Uh, this next round is a section of non-multiple choice questions. Uh, the first team to buzz in will be given the first chance to answer. But if you get that wrong, <coughs> the chance will be given over to the other team. Now you guys are lucky because we are kind enough that if both of you guys get it wrong, we're going to give you another chance to answer with the help of a spelling hint. 15 questions in all, 30 points per question, I believe, mm -hmm. and five seconds to answer. Got so it? So if we're all ready, let's have question number one. All right. First question is from mythology. Europe's wine growers are turning to satellites to help them come up with the perfect vintage. The project is named after a mythological god and aims to link satellite imagery with computer analysis to help growers get the best out of their vineyards. This is the classical god of wine, also known as Dionysus. What is this? Hmm, why don't we take a look at the hint? Puma? Bacchus. Yes. And princes, I urge you to take the chance. Each question is worth 30 points, so you can catch up pretty quickly. I wonder that's if that's uh, related to the Korean drink, Bacchus. <laughs> you think? No, actually, <laughs> it's, it's, I don't think so. But. It's an interesting point, however. Okay, we'll have to look that one up. <laughs> and let's go to question two. Uh, question two is about title. Orson Welles' Oscar has been removed from sale because of, because of a legal wrangle over whether the statuette can be auctioned. Welles won just one competitive Oscar for best original screenplay for this film, which he also directed in 1940. Princess. Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane. Yes. Good to see the princes on the board, and now let us have question three. Question three is about country. This country's government has announced visa incentives to lure potential tourists. It is expected to bring in an additional 200,000 vis visitors each year. Trekking in the Himalayas is a popular is popular among. Fuma. Uh, Nepal. Mm -hmm. And Fuma is increasing its lead, and let's get to question four. Question four is about sport. Britain Tanya Streeter has broken the world record in this sport by descending 400 feet and resurfacing without the help of air tanks or buoyancy aids. She can hold her breath for six minutes. What is this sport, which also appears in the film Le Grand Bleu, directed by Luke Bed Besson? Luc Besson's film. Let's take a look at the hint. And Fuma. Um, something diving. Uh, free diving. Free diving. Free diving. Yes. <laughs> we would have also taken deep water diving as well as an answer. And let's get to question five. I don't know about you, but that's probably the last sport I'll try to break a record in. <laughs> <laughs> Breathless for six minutes, right? Seriously. Mm. Right. And question five, please. Question five, people. On July 23rd, two bombs exploded in Spain, injuring at least 13 people. The devices went off minutes apart in the resorts after a warning from the group ETA. ETA ETA is an acronym for Uskadi Ta Eskatsuna, which means blank. Fuma. What is it? Bass separatist movement? <laughs> yes, Bass. <laughs> which means Bass Nation and Liberty in their language, and of course, the, the, uh, the Basques are demanding independence from Spain. And princes, I'd like to encourage you to buzz in quickly. And let's get to the next question. Okay, question six is about music. Last month, hundreds of fans paid their final respects to Celia Cruz during her funeral. Known as the queen of this. Fuma. Salsa. Mm -hmm. Fuma, are you a big salsa dancer? Uh, yes. No, no, no. But my, my family's from Cuba. That's uh, why I know uh, that. Right? Yeah. And let's get to question seven now. Cubano. Okay, question number seven. <laughs> Animal. A conservation team in Indonesia succeeded in fixing a radio collar on this animal, which is now being tracked. They say a radio collar has never before been fitted on this wild animal. 
Uh, Sumatran blanks are critically endangered, endangered with only four to five hundred animals in the wild. What is this animal? Think Sumatra, think this animal. Let's Puma. Tiger? Yes. <laughs> and let's have question eight, please. Question eight is about person. The president of Uganda said that this former military leader who is currently ill will be tried for the crimes he committed against the people of Uganda if he survives and tries to return from exile. His regime, which lasted from 1971 to 1979, was one of the bloodiest in African history. Who is this person? Why don't we take a look at the hint? His regime, 71 to 79, Fuma. Idi Amin. Mm -hmm. Impressed with your partner? Yeah, that's pretty good. I didn't even know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the name. Glad you went with the name. And let's get to question nine. Question nine is about health. Scientists found that college students with this were apt to worsen their condition of this during examination period. Fuma. Acne. Yes. Or acne vulgaris, we would have taken as an answer. And we are at question 10. Question 10 is about art. The Heritage Lottery Fund has decided to award 11.5 million pounds to the National Gallery to help it bid to keep this painter's work in the UK. The Madonna and Child, also known as Madonna of the Pinks, has been loaned to the gallery since 1992. Who is this Italian Renaissance painter? Fuma. Da Vinci. Princess Fox Princess. Michelangelo. Why don't we take a look at the hint? Fuma. Raphael. <laughs> Let's get to question 11. Question 11 is about report. A report released by the United Nations Development Program ranked this country first in the world in terms of its overall gender empowerment measure. In 1980, Vigdis... Fuma. Finland? Princess? Netherland. Why don't we finish the question? Okay. <laughs> Vignes Finbogadatir was elected president, becoming the world's first elected female head of state. Princess. Venezuela. And Fuma, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. What is this island republic? Iceland. Fuma. Iceland. Yes. Uh, we took a, a trip around the world and yes, finally ended up in Iceland. That was a trip around the world. <laughs> uh, Fuma, I'd like to remind you, please share your answer with us only after I've called out your team name. Okay, let's have question 12. Question 12 is about geography. Last month, at least eight foreign climbers who went missing in this region in Peru have been found dead. Officials said the climbers were swept to their deaths by an avalanche. What is this huge South American mountain? Fuma. Andes. Mm -hmm. And we have yeah. 13, please. Sure. 13 is about economy. In Korea, this can soon be sold and bought in banks. In economics, this standard is a monetary system wherein all forms of legal tender may be converted on demand into fixed quantities of this metal. Fuma. Gold. And let's have question 14, please. Question 14 is about technology. Cutting edge science creates stain free pants. Products that are derived from this technology may someday cure disease, slow the aging process, and eliminate pollution. This is the science of manipulating materials billionths of a meter wide. What is this? Hmm, it's been in the news a lot. And why don't we look at the hint? Remember, we're talking about something that's very small. Fuma. Nanotechnology. Yes. What a noble aim to have stain-free pants, right? I need a lot of those. I'm a messy guy. <laughs> and we're at our last question.
All right. 15, please. Our last question, number 15, is about fruit. The Blank Harvest is a contemporary Palestinian drama exploring the complex love triangle between two brothers and their childhood friend. It is set during the harvest time of this in a rural, rural community, which, which, is a, which, sorry, which is passionate about its land. This is a small, oval, bitter-tasting fruit with a green or black pit. What is this? Think Palestinian. Why don't we take a look at the hint? Ol Fuma. Uh, olive. Yes. <laughs> and with that very strong ending, Fuma, you win and get to go on to the finals. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, princes, it's good to see your chivalrous to the end, <laughs> shaking hands with your opponents. And I know there are supporters back home who are watching, so please share a word with them. Oh, all right. Uh, thanks for watching. Try, I'll try hard to uh, continue to be royalty. All right. That's well, it, thank yeah. you very much for joining us today. <laughs> and now with that, we'll be back with Fuma after this. Ballot team. <laughs> Robert Choi and Jason Park, it's good to have you back on our stage. This is your fifth time, meaning you're going for your win number five in a row. So, how are you guys? Doing uh, well. Yeah, it's good to be back, and um, we're all packed and ready to go to Europe. Ah, packed and ready to go to Europe. Fuma. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> good luck to all of you today. Now, let us begin the final section. We'll be giving you five categories of questions, five questions each, 10 to 50 points, and you get to choose the next question if you get the first question correct. I would like to remind you, uh, please share your answer with us only after you've buzzed in. I've called out your team name and then your answer, okay? So, uh, well, we have fascinating categories today. What are they? Okay, today's categories are beaches, business war, challenged geniuses, cities and titles, and last but not least, sweet stuff. Mm -hmm. Sweet stuffs. Sweet, sweet stuffs. stuffs. Uh huh. And so I get to choose the first one. Why don't we go with beaches for 10 points. This is the place where the North Pole Swimming Festival opens during the winter, and people from all over the world come to join the event. The program includes a swimming competition in the ice-cold ocean. In the summer, you can get a suntan, play on the hot golden sand, swim, and you can also taste fresh fish. It has the largest and longest beach in Korea. What is this famous beach in Busan? Ballot. Haeundae. Oh. Um. Haeundae. <laughs> Fuma, you have to buzz in more quickly if you want to go against the ballot team. They've been here five times Aren't you guys from Busan? Yeah, it's yeah. our hometown. Uh -oh. <laughs> they, they won the Tagalchi <laughs> relay, come on. And ballot, it's good to see you on the board, you get to choose. Beaches for 20, please. All right, beaches, 20 points. This was created in the 1920s in Santa Monica in California. Ballot. Here. Santa Monica. And Fuma, it's your chance to answer. I'll finish the question. It debuted as a medal sport at the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta. In the year of the Olympic Games in Sydney, the top 24 men's and women's teams in the world competed on Bondi Beach. This is played barefoot with a ball and two teams of two players in any sand court divided by a net. What is this sport, also known as Beach or BVB. Fuma, five seconds. Fuma? Beach volleyball. Fuma, you've taken the lead and bowed. I think you were a little too yeah. 
quick with a buzzer on that one. You get to choose. Uh, no, Fuma, you get to choose. I'm sorry. Cities and titles for uh, 10. Sure. Cities in titles for 10 points. Author John O'Brien, whose autobiography this movie is based, committed suicide. However, the film would make a good memorial for him. To get ready for his role, Nicolas Cage. Ballot? Leaving Las Vegas. Yes. And Ballot, you have tied the score at 20. You get to choose. Cities and titles for 20, please. Cities and in titles for 20 points. It was originally a project for Frank Capra, who had planned to cast, planned to cast Cary Grant and, and Elizabeth Taylor. William Wyler at first wanted Jean Simmons and reportedly nearly canceled the project when she proved unavailable. However, Gregory Peck and Audrey Hepburn... Fuma. Roman Holiday. And Audrey Hepburn won Best Actress in a Leading Role in the Academy Awards in 1954 for her role in this film, Roman Holiday. And Fuma, you have taken the lead yet again, 40 points versus Ballot's 20, and you get to choose. Yeah, you want to do it? Mm -hmm. Yep, for 30 points, same category. Please. Cities and titles, 30 points. The script was based on the unproduced play, Everybody Comes to Rick's. After visiting a cafe in southern France where a black pianist had entertained a mixed... Fuma. Casablanca. Mm -hmm. And you know, Play It Again Sam was never said in the movie. That's right. Actually, it was, you played it for her, you can play it for me. Hmm. And Ballot, I saw you trying to buzz in. Well, Fuma's proving to be a pretty tough opponent for you. We'll see what happens next. Well, you get to choose, Fuma. Uh, we'll go with and titles, 40. Cities and titles, 40 points. In this metaphysical comedy by Woody Allen, Celia. Ballot. Manhattan. <laughs> Fuma, it's your chance to answer and he'll finish the question. Celia, a depression era wait waitress's cinema fantasies come to life. She is watching a minor Hollywood drama, The Purple Rose of Blank. Fuma. Purple Rose, uh, Cairo. <laughs> And Cairo is at the end of the Nile Delta. And Ballot, you took a good chance. It could have been Manhattan. He had a movie like that. And when you're increasing your lead, you get to choose. We'll go, we'll finish the category, 50 points. All right, cities and titles, 50 points. At one point in the film, the main character pulls out a picture of a plot of land in this city. The postcard is very meaningful. He seems irresistibly drawn to the city because it is a remnant of a perfect place and a life in which good things happen. Uh, Wim Wenders chose the city for the title by reading the U.S. Road Atlas, but no scene was actually shot there. What is this city in the Red River Valley in northeastern Texas? Mm-hmm. Ballot? Oh, my God. Ballot? Idaho. And Fuma, five seconds. Fuma. Uh, Austin. <laughs> hmm. It's the Vim Vendors film, and he was looking at the U.S. Atlas. However, the name of the city is kind of... Non-U.S. Unusual. Yes. International. European, actually. Ballot. Paris, Texas. Yes. Oh. It starred Harry Dean Stanton and Natasha Kinski. And Ballot, you have increased your points. You're catching up 70 versus Fuma's lead of 110. You get to choose. Beaches for 30, please. Beaches, 30 points. Every year, millions of tourists flock to this island, lured by its lush green forests and unspoiled white sandy beaches. Known as the Island of the Gods, it is home to a predominantly Hindu culture that has flourished in the world's most populous Muslim nation. The majority of the overseas visitors come from nearby Australia, and Kuda itself, home to its largest public beach, is a popular haunt for surfers. Fuma? Go ahead. Bali? Mm -hmm. The island in Indonesia is Bali, and, well, the bombings on the 12th of October last year have proved to be tough on this island. However, I think that things are picking up now. Fuma, you are Increasing your lead, you get to choose. Uh, beach is 40. Beaches for 40 points. 
For Parisians unable to go to the beach, the beach has come to them with a repeat of last year's Paris Plage. 3,000 metric tons of sand had to be put on the three kilometer long stretch of land by the River Seine. This year, there are these beach by rivers created in other European cities as well. For example, the Spree River in Berlin and this river in Budapest. This Fuma. The noob. It is the second longest river in Europe, and we would have also taken the German, Donau. And Tuma, you get to choose. Finish it. 50. All right, closing category, beaches, 50 points. Now, for this question, I would like for you to listen carefully to the end of the question, okay? And so, let's listen. Olha que coisa mais linda, mais cheia de graça. Ela menina que vem que passa. Well, there really is a girl from Ipanema in 1962. Eloisa Pinheiro regularly passed Rio de Janeiro's fashionable Ipanema district along the beach on her way home. Every afternoon, Antonia Carlos Yobim and Vinicius de Moraste watched her pass by and were inspired to write the song. This is a popular kind of music of Brazilian origin, that is, ballot. Bossa Nova. Mm -hmm. It is related to the samba with jazz-like passages. Ballot, you're catching up. 120 versus Fuma's 180. You get to choose. Business war for 10, please. Business war, 10 points. This company cut up to 6,000 more of its 70,000 70, staff as it struggles to cope with the sluggish economy. It has warned that the persistent slump in travel, including the effects of the mainly Asian SARS virus, has further hit its performance. It has already shed 10,000 jobs since 2000 as the introduction of film-free digital cameras eats into its core market. What is the name of the world's biggest photographic filmmaker? Fuma. Kodak. Mm -hmm. Ethan Kodak is the company's name. And Fuma, you get to choose. Uh, sweet stuff? Uh, okay. I have no idea. All right, sweet stuff for 10, please. Sweet stuff for 10 points. Hello, my name is Heinz Pister. I'm the executive chef at Intercontinental Hotel in Seoul. What do you all do when you are tired, physically and emotionally? Here's a suggestion. Take a sweet piece of candy or chocolate. Dessert or sugars can actually help relieve stress and forget depressing thoughts. Well, let's take a look at today's questions now, shall we? This popular dessert is also a side dish that is enjoyed with roast beef in Britain. Charles Dickens talks about this kind of dessert in a history, A Christmas Carol. It is considered best when it's made a year ahead of time. This is a sweet cooked dessert with a smooth creamy texture typically consisting of flour, milk, eggs and flavor. Ballot. Bread pudding? Mm -hmm. Pudding is what we are going for. And this creamy dessert is actually um, called Royal Armand Cornstarch Workshire Custard or Cabinet. All fall into this category of pudding. And Ballot, you are catching up. You get to choose. Sweet stuffs for 20. Staying with the same category, sweet stuffs, 20 points. In this movie, a mysterious stranger arrives in a tranquil French town within days of openings a very unusual shop filled with mouth-watering confections. She has an almost magical ability to perceive her customers' private desires and satisfy them with just the right confection. She coaxes the villagers to abound themselves the temptation and happiness. What is this food that Juliette Binoche makes and sells? Fuma. Chocolat. <laughs> Juliette Binoche was the chocolatier in the movie. And Fuma, you get to choose. Continue. 30 oh. points, please. <laughs> okay. Sweet stuffs. 30 points. This has all the three characters, which should be in a dessert, which are sweet, savory, and fruity. Sometimes, this is served during the course of a meal, and sometimes it contains alcohol, and when it's made as a dessert, it contains a lot of fruit juice. It has less fat than French ice cream, which is enriched with egg yolks. 
This is a frozen dessert made with fruit syrup, milk and egg whites. Whisk until smooth and opaque. What is this? Ballot. Sorbet. Yes. Or you would have taken sherbet. And ballot. You get to choose. Hmm. Sweet stuffs for 40, please. Sweet stuffs, 40 points. Here is an unusual take on beef kebabs. You mix this and rye whiskey together for the marinade and oranges are treated along with grilling steak on skewers. In the large sealable bag, combine vinegar, garlic, onions, oil whiskey if desired, cloves, salt, pepper and this. It is a very Canadian recipe. Every year sugaring festival visitors may walk the natural trail, watch the tapping of this tree. Fuma. Maple syrup. Yes. The sweet syrup is maple syrup and it comes from the maple tree and uh, this is the symbol of Canada. And Fuma, you get to choose. 50, 50 points please. Uh, All sweet right, stuffs. closing out the category. Sweet stuffs, well, 50 points. Also known as Tuscany trifle, this dessert was initially created in Siena, the Italy city of Tuscany. The occasion was a visit by Grand Duke Cosimo de' Medici III. In war's honor, it was dubbed the duck soup. The original recipe called for custard and only recently has mascarpone cheese been substituted. This, an Italian dessert made with layers of sponge cake soaked in coffee, especially espresso, mascarpone cheese and chocolate. What is this? Fuma. Tiramisu. Mm -hmm. And Fuma, you found that to be a very good category for your ballot. Wow, you got to take risks to go against the Fuma team today. And Fuma, you get to choose. All right. Challenge. Okay. Yeah. Challenge geniuses for 10. Challenge geniuses for 10 points. This person never married and was often unhappy in his personal life, which in part suffered because of his health problems. He began to lose his hearing in the 17th ballot. Beethoven? Yes. He wrote the Ninth Symphony and the Ode to Joy. And Ballot, you get to choose. Hmm, business War for 20. Business War, 20 points. As a, re as a result of the acquisition by its CEO, John Dasberg, Astar Air Cargo, formerly known as this, has new owners who are indisputably the U.S. citizens eager to compete with rivals FedEx Corp and UPS Incorporated. They claim as Ballot. DHL? That is the International Logistics Company. Ballot, you get to choose. Business War for 30, please. Business War, 30 points. An unexpected relief pitcher has appeared from Osaka to save the Japanese economy, which is struggling with deflation. The economy is slowly recovering, along with the success of the company that sponsors this team, which is on a winning streak. Soft drinks, wines, and cars have its logo on itself. Ballot. Seattle Mariners. Fuma, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. Soft drinks, wines, and cars that have its logo on it sell very well. Foreign media has reported this as blank economy. What is the name of this professional baseball team from Osaka? Fuma, five seconds. Ah. <laughs> uh. Fuma? Mm, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> the chance answer is open to both teams now. We're looking for blank economy, and this is the professional baseball team from oh. Osaka. You've seen it on the... Can't do it. Fuma. Oh, can, can I? No. Yes, the chance is open. Fuma? Uh, tiger. Yes, we're looking for the Hansen Tigers. And Fuma, you get to choose. 40 points. Business war, please. Business war, 40 points. Reuters has sued this rival firm for patent infringement in the highly competitive trading technology market. Reuters was born as a news organization, but has shifted heavily towards the once lucrative te uh, technology sector. This is a younger company, was the most aggressive in marketing itself as a, 
as a systems supplier and now has a dominant share, notably in bond trading. It was founded by, by Michael R. Blank, now the mayor of New York. What? Fuma. Bloomberg. Mm -hmm. And Reuters and Bloomberg are big on this. And Fuma, you're increasing your lead. Valid, I'd like to see you buzzing quickly. And Fuma, you get to choose. We'll go 50 points, business war. All right, closing the category, business war, 50 points. A German court has ruled that this budget airline cannot use the word Dusseldorf for its destination airport, which is within 70 kilometers from this city. It has accused its competitor, Lufthansa and Dusseldorf Airport, of being behind the suit. It has become the third largest airline. Fuma? Ryanair? Yeah. That is the Dublin-based airline. Fuma, you are on the nose with that one. I flew to Dusseldorf. <laughs> on Ryanair? On Ryanair. Oh, and How convenient. <laughs> and Fuma, it worked well for you. You get to choose. 20 points, challenge geniuses. All right, ha challenge geniuses for 20 points. This person has suffered from amyotropic lateral sclerosis, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease ballot. Mm, Stephen Hawking? Yeah. The British theoretical physicist and mathematician wrote a brief history of time. And Ballot, you get to choose. Challenge geniuses for 30, please. Challenge geniuses for 30 points. This person spent hours as a youngster bouncing a ball off a wall. Instead of looking at what he did not have, his parents helped him to find ways to win. In the 1988 Olympics, he was the winning pitcher who brought the U.S. its first gold medal, Fuma. Jim Abbott. <laughs> he was a Major League Baseball player born without a right hand. And Fuma, you get to choose. Challenge Geniuses 40. 40 points, Challenge Geniuses. Christy Brown was born in Dublin in 1932. One of 13 children, he suffered from cerebral palsy and was considered mentally disabled until he famously snatched a piece of chalk from his sister with his only controllable limb. His autobiography was filmed with Daniel Day-Lewis. Fuma. My left foot? Yes. And he received Best Actor for this. And we have just one question left on the board. Challenge Geniuses, 50 points. Born with poor eyesight, this person became totally blind at the age of 12 following a soccer accident. But he has been called the fourth tenor. He has emerged as one of the most exciting voices in contemporary opera. Opera, however, represents only one side of his musical persona. He has equally been successful as a pop ballad singer, having recorded duets with Sarah Brightman and Eros Ramazzotti. Who is this Tuscany-born singer? Ballot. Um, Bocelli? Yes, Andrea Bocelli. And he recorded Sarah, with Sarah Brighton, uh, Time to Say Goodbye. Well, Ballot, you're winners all around. However, on this round, Fuma, you win. First win. Congratulations. <laughs> Various prizes are awaiting our winning contenders. Your first win will take you on a trip to Jeju Island. Your second win to Japan. Your third win will take you to China. And on your fourth win, you'll win a trip to Southeast Asia. On your fifth win, a trip to Hawaii. Your sixth win, a trip to the United States. And on your seventh win, you'll take the grand prize of a tour of Europe. We hope many of you join us. Ballot team, well, you have four wins under your belt. That's a great record. How do you feel? Um, stunned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're happy to have win winner so far, oh, of right? Of course, of course. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And now, Fuma team, your Tagalchi or eel relay, uh, good luck, has continued on, and you've won your first win. So, how do you feel? Stunned. Stunned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, how far do your aims go? Oh, back to Tagalchi. Oh, no, and, and to <laughs> Europe. Uh, all the way to Europe? 
Yeah, sure, why All not? The way. To see Spain, like he said in the beginning. Of course. And right. Dusseldorf. And, and, and Dusseldorf. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> and with that, Boomer marked its first win. Let's see what happens next week. Join us again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.